nightmare. Harry and Meghan paid huge price after Dirty Money Court Red handed over Spotify. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been put in an awkward position of picking between principles or money following their Spotify misinformation row, with a royal expert adding Joe Rogan had won amid the fallout. Royal commentator Richard Eden discussed the latest Spotify row with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after the platform came under fire for COVID-19 misinformation claims. But Mr. Eden noted that while Prince Harry was a strong campaigner against misinformation, his decision not to pull out of his deal with the streaming giant showed he picked money over principles in his view. Mr. Eden then discussed the work ethic of Joe Rogan who works on hundreds of podcasts with a small team and wondered if paying the Sussexes millions was truly value for money. Speaking, Mr. Eden shared his thoughts on the Spotify row and believed the Sussexes has been put in a tough position. He said, well, this is a nightmare for Harry and Meghan because for years they've gone on about the dangers of misinformation. It's become a real sort of pet cause of theirs, I think Harry's even become a commissioner, of the Aspen Institute's new commission on information disorder, or something like that. And then here they are with Spotify, accused of spreading misinformation through Joe Rogan's very popular podcast, but they've signed a very lucrative deal with Spotify which is meant to be worth £18 million or something. So between the principles and money, it's always a question of which will they go for and seems they've gone for the money. They put out a rather sort of mealy-mouthed statement about the dangers of misinformation but they've made clear they're sticking with Spotify. So it looks like sort of Joe Rogan's one really. Charlotte Griffiths was also on the show and believed the Sussexes would not hand the money back in the future but had heard there were technical issues behind the scenes which explained why the couple has not created podcasts. Mr. Eden remarked Joe Rogan was a really hard worker and created hundreds of podcasts every year. But the royal expert added, my goodness, we've only had one from Harry and Meghan for £18 million so they're hardly providing value for money. The panel also joked that Joe Rogan should ask for a pay raise. Spotify has been hit with huge criticisms from celebrities and respected scientific figures to crack down on COVID misinformation being spread on Joe Rogan's podcast. Joe Rogan addressed the criticisms head-on in a video and said the people he invites on had strong credentials and that he wanted to offer an alternative view to the mainstream narrative. Prince Harry says his workload and commitments often leave him feeling burned out. The Duke of Sussex, who has signed several multi-million pound deals since quitting the royal family, said he still has hard days but is schooled by the universe. During a chat with US company BetterUp, the 37-year-old said all employees should be given time to build their mental fitness. Harry was able to take five months off when his daughter Lilibet was born last year. He wants to see bosses allocating 15-minute white space breaks each day for staff to relax, while admitting, I too experience burnout. I'm burning the candle at both ends and that's like, boom. Harry advocates meditating every day, and said he is able to schedule around half an hour or 45 minutes for it while son Archie is at school. Despite sharing an £11 million mansion in Santa Barbara, California's lavish Montecito community with wife Meghan Markle, the Duke says he still misses out on things he would love to do. Some days are great, some days are really hard, he said. I'm always kicking myself, if you'd have done this, which you know works for you, you wouldn't be in this state now. It's work, but of all the work that's pulled towards us, it's the most fulfilling work. Apart from being a dad, he added, work.